Hey guys, Odd Couple Statue Reviews is back. Uh, we've had a little break, but today we'll be doing the XM Jean Grey as the Phoenix review. I'm um, pretty excited. Jason, when did this beauty come out? Uh, this came out in 2015, was teased in 2014 at yep. one of the cons in Asia, and came out in 2015, limited to 1,000 pieces. 1,000 pieces, pretty Yeah, good. and then comes looking at a very important story arc in the X-Men from, I believe it was the 90s. I grew up in the 90s and I was reading the comics in the 90s and I'm pretty sure I read it then, but I'm, you know, just off the top of my head. Yeah. Uh, basically, look, she was inhabited by a, a galactic force called the Phoenix, which is represented by this big flame bird mm -hmm. in that here. Mm -hmm. And it basically overtook her mind and body and she became like the most powerful mutant on earth sort of thing, you know? Um, it was a very dark saga in the X-Men uh, tales. But like, let's let's talk about the piece. Yeah, of course. You know, straight like, a bit worse all human. Yeah, right. yeah. Look, um, the base is, well, this was like um, one of the first ones that XM really went to town on the base. You know what I mean? Probably the flames coming out here. Um, and I believe it looks like a damaged sentinel to me. You know, like the, like the chest of a sentinel. Mm -hmm. Like she's basically torn through it with her flames. Perhaps around. something that relates to a story arc or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Someone probably... I think we said this about the unboxing quite a while ago that um, for we, someone to tell us. And it was a long time ago. A long time ago. We've actually, this was like a review that got lost in the ages um, that we're finally doing. But I'm pretty sure we asked uh, one of the viewers that would happen to know the story arc about the actual base. If it was from a specific story arc, comic book strip, like, you know what I mean? Like yeah. one of those. Probably is. Um, most likely. Um, I find, like, because I don't know if that, like, just the base from face value looks pretty cool, um, but maybe a bit simplistic because I don't know anything behind it. Um, I can't say, oh no, that's that thing from. So, for yeah. like, sim simplistic, I think the big thing about which XM do some on the, some of their pieces is what happens more up from the base, and I think that's the Phoenix behind. Um, I think that's the, one of the biggest appeals about this statue and piece. It is. I mean, it's very impressive. Yeah, although, do you get the feeling, I don't know about everyone, anyone else watching the video and they might get some hate for this, but I found that there was some opportunity missed with this piece. Um, maybe some LED feature um, yeah. could have actually played. It was already there. It's like, it seemed like they put it for an LED feature, then they've gone, nah, at the last moment, it just dropped it. But maybe, like, then again, they probably just never thought of it. Um, well, actually, yeah, to install LEDs into the base in here and in here. Like, you've got like, the base is enough size, it's perfect, and then you've got the actual, like, back piece that would Well, we know from experience that the PVC, when you put the light through it, it actually transmits through the PVC. So, so you like, don't have to have, like, a very high-intensity light. You just have a light inside there, and it'll transfer the light through the entire piece. So it seems like it was established perfect mm. for it. Maybe some people have done it as, like, a custom job yeah. to get it done. You don't really want to touch your piece, though, if you're a hardcore collector, but... On the other note, Jason, what do you think of the, the actual Phoenix as, as Look, itself? Look, I, I, I like Separate. it, except for the fact that um, there's some imperfections in the actual PVC. It was pretty common with this one. You actually, it, it looks like it's cracked and that, and it's actually not. Like the, it's just the design, It's yeah. just the design of it, and because um, it was like, you know, cast in such large pieces. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and like, as you saw from our unboxing, the wings, like giant yeah, the wings come off, um, and basically, but all this bird in this section here is all one piece. So, yeah, it actually puts a bit of strain in that on the it piece. Makes the proportion of the statue it makes it makes uh, Phoenix seem so small, Jean Grey, compared to like you got the big, well, like the base. Look, that's what I remember from the, the comic book. It, that's what happened when the Phoenix took over. Like you know, in that panel, mm -hmm. which we'll show you now, like you see the entire Phoenix, like pretty much enveloping all the area behind her. You know yeah. what I mean? Overtaking the panel. So that's what they, they, they went for, right? Yeah, yeah, and her eyes go white, which yeah. like is uh, a different... It's got the motion yeah. like of like a gust of wind or energy and stuff, because, you know, you've got your pieces moving on the statue and yeah. stuff, they're going back, so it's kind of like representing, I think that's the moment they were trying to capture. Yeah, and this is one of um, XM's yeah. earlier Marvel pieces, you know what I mean? So yeah. they have just in, um, improved over time, like they, they do learn from their mistakes and whatever little... Like uh, you even pointed out before we did the review about the paint up on the actual body, you said mm -hmm. it was a, a tad dull. It's a, yeah, it seemed a bit dull. It did yeah. compared to the newer stuff. And you're it's right. Same with the Thanos. Mm. The Thanos yeah. was a bit the same as well, you know. So, but look, maybe, overall, maybe a bit on the muscle tone too, perhaps in some areas. Stuff they did lightly. I don't think they're yeah. supposed to go full rip well, shredded or look, anything. Look, insane. But... I think the the body um, sculpt they did on this one is absolutely fantastic. Okay. Um, and I like that face sculpt too. That was actually inspired by the art piece that you get with it, um, done by Stanley Art Germ Lau. And, like, you know, I'm a really big fan of his work and I like his style too. What about the other headpieces that we have? Yeah, yeah, there's, um, uh, she comes with three different headpieces. So, 
this is another piece here. We'll just swap them out one after the other. Yep. So just take that one off. Okay. Just put be careful putting them in so we don't damage the statue. Yep. There we go. So that's that that head piece there. And the last one here. I don't mind this one either, this this head piece here. Now, one of the, the the second one that I showed you just before, I'm not a big fan of. We'll show you um, even uh, better in the close up uh, later on. But look, overall, um, it's a huge piece, weighs a ton. Like, yeah. it's pretty weighty. If you've got to put it in a higher place, you're gonna have a bit of trouble with one of those, especially if you got um, if you got um. Sorry, uh, what was it? it uh, uh, look, it weighs best for If you've got display near ceiling level, yeah. you might have a problem because of the Phoenix itself. We actually just fitted in ours mm. on top, on our top level shelving, if you look behind us. So you've got to keep that in account. Not just level the statue of Jean Grey itself, but the whole... Also the, the whole. weight, it's like 12 kilos. So for a mm. quarter scale statue, it's pretty hefty. Yeah, I know, man. I'm trying to see you balancing, putting on the top shelf. Like, Adrian, hold me up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we've had a bit of struggles over time with it, um, moving it around and stuff, but once you have it sitting, it's really a, like a real appealing piece to have in your man cave, I reckon, um, yeah. overall, because back to the Phoenix, really, I think that's like one of the main things for me. To be honest, it's one of the statues that I didn't actually really focus on head sculpt at all. Mm -hmm. Like out of the three, I don't mind any. It's not something I stare at either. Yeah. Like to be honest, Phoenix, and anyone that came in the man well, cave that we you stare at. Not on air. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but anyone that came in, anyone like, well, that's Aspendori. <laughs> but <laughs> anyone that came in really focuses on the Phoenix. The Phoenix, because, yeah. so that's what I'm saying. It's like, miss opportunity, because that LED would have made it so much better, mm. I reckon. Especially if you had the lights on dim and show lights on. Yeah, had yeah. On, like, yeah, even yeah. if you had like some LEDs placed behind it to throw up the light to the actual. Just that, just having it in, if they had it in, yeah. from the start, that would have been Awesome. Still a good piece, but yeah, that's that's just my thought. But look, as I said, love the body sculpt. Um, paint job could have been done a little bit better. You know, the gold they have improved. The gold could have been yeah, and the yeah. newer pieces have improved greatly. Yeah. So this isn't an XM knock um, review or anything like that. No. But with me, like I'd, I'd say she's a yes. Yeah. You know, um, that's my opinion on her. Yeah. Um, I, look, I haven't had very many Marvel uh, slash X Men fans that have come into the man cave that haven't just gone wow. Oh wow, that's a nice phoenix, you know. So, look, and also she's a good companion piece for the new one that they have coming out, the XM Dark Phoenix. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you have the two together, it tells the entire story arc. Like, this is the before she get before she dies. Yeah. And the other ones when she comes back as Dark Phoenix. Okay. From the death. So, yeah. Um, look. I have to say yes. What What's your thoughts on it, Adrian? Well, you know what? After all this time, it has to be a yes. We've kept yeah. it in. I just said one thing that, you know, they missed an opportunity. It doesn't kill the statue for me. Just not focus on the head sculpt doesn't kill the statue for me. Just means there's more going on. XM seem to usually do that. Same with um, if, uh, companies such as like Prime One mm. and so forth. They've got a lot of other things going on with their statue. So you're into the character. It's a bonus if you're not. And you like the appeal, like the look. Um, I still say, yeah, you should get it. I'm a yes. You're a yes. Yeah. Look, it's a big another, yes. thing, another thing you're going to come, and we don't usually talk about it, but the packaging. You know, like oh the vault, the vault. I call them the vault. Look, they come like packed like tanks. You know, it, it's absolutely amazing. And you've got like the directions to put things back in the box and stuff like that. If you ever need to pack them up and stuff like that, which is an absolute bonus. You know, so like XM do a lot of things right, and this is one of the first pieces where you know they really showcase um, their amazing abilities and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And they continue to grow and. You can't yeah. fault them for that. Yeah, so, you can see. Yeah, you can see the improvement over the years. Yeah. Really looking forward to some of their one six scale DC line that's yeah. coming out. Like, looks absolutely amazing. So, yeah, um, guys, that's us. Enjoy the close up, and remember to like and subscribe. See you, guys.
still here. The video is done. What are you doing? But while you're here, I'd just like to say a big thank you for your, everyone watching. Um, really do appreciate all the views and subscribers. Hey, while you're here though, want to check out some more con footage to my right or some more reviews to my left? You know, this pretty face is in all of them. <laughs> See you guys later.